Tenure note yields are back above 4%. They have struggled to get there and hold above 4% for quite some time. We have seen some trades back to 4%, but again, it's been a difficult trade to sustain any real momentum above 4%. We really haven't seen a sustainable trade above 4 since going all the way back to October of 2022. Yes, we have been there a few times this year, but nothing has held for more than a few sessions. Today's range, we saw from 395 up to 405, and again, settling above 4% for the first time since July 7th, and only the fourth settle above 4% in all of 2023. Again, seeing 10-year note yields back above 4% to close the session. Now, what does this mean for volatility? Well, check out that C-ball index over at cmegroup.com, and you'll notice that volatility has been on the rise. It goes back to being directional with yields. As yields go up, we see volatility firming. It's exactly what we saw today. Likewise, in anticipation of tomorrow's refunding announcement from the Treasury, where they are expected to announce more supply, that is also putting added pressure on yields, pushing them higher along with volatility. Again, volatility higher today as yields moved higher. Lastly, let's talk about what we do have tomorrow on Wednesday. Well, early morning, we get the ADP number. That'll be our, our fresh look First look at the jobs market for Friday, the non-farm payroll from the private sector. Likewise, uh, we will also get a refunding announcement from the Treasury, as I mentioned earlier, which will detail some of the needs uh, specifically in each bucket that will be necessary for upcoming auctions. The market has been anticipated increases. And that's one of the reasons we've seen yields move higher. So 10-year note yields move back above 4% for the first time since July 7th. For only the fourth time this year, they've closed above 4% ahead of tomorrow's ADP and the Treasury refunding announcement.